Chair recognized honorable member for Fox Hill. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I want to say straight out that I support this resolution. Um, and <clears throat> to say a couple of things by way of background, particularly about the people of North Island and their support uh, for the Progressive Liberal Party. And uh, during the moving of the, the, the resolution, uh, the member um, also spoke to the issue of the Leonard Shugman estate, which is in a similar position for the people of Fox Hill. And that that too is coming to some resolution because, uh, as he would have indicated, the conveyances are all done. And uh, it's been agreed to convey to these people who are in occupa actual occupation of the land at Fox Hill, uh, the conveyances of land that their families have been on traditionally. And I want to thank the minister for his work, his hard work, in making sure that this came through his predecessor, uh, Ken Russell, who started the negotiations, but for uh, this present minister bringing it to the finish line. And I know that the people uh, in Fox Hill are very appreciative of, of the determination of the government to uh, convey this land back to them, and so I, I offer my thanks. When I was uh, <coughs> in the wilderness politically, so to speak, I remember sitting one evening in the home of the former Deputy Prime Minister uh, and former Governor General Arthur Hanna. And Mr. and Mrs. Uh, then Mr. and Mrs. Perry Christie, then leader of the opposition, were sitting in the drawing room of the former Governor General. And the leader of the opposition's wife was speaking to me and trying to persuade me that it was best to return to a political party. Uh, now, it didn't take much persuasion because after uh, sitting as an independent uh, in, in, in the Senate and uh, not having a group to associate myself, it was quite a lonely existence. So I wasn't going to do that anymore. I, I always tell people that, uh, that um, yeah, I know, I, I come to that too. Um, I, I remember. There's, there's no such thing. Yeah. No, I remember, I remember, I remember the FNM gathered over before, before the, the opening of the house. The F, F gathered over at the cabinet office, and I wasn't invited to be in that group. And the PLP had their group over here, and I wasn't invited to be that group. So while I was while I was waiting for the Senate to start, I had to stand outside and talk to the policeman. <laughs> Me and him making idle talk until the Senate started. So I figured I'm never going to be in that position again. I have a group when I when I reach here, but. One of the things uh, Mrs. Christie said to me is, she said, you know, I think you need to come back because I think you need to be a minister of the government. And I want to be able, when you are a minister of the government, to come to you and ask you to do things for people. And you could deliver for them. You can do things for people. And I, that struck me as something that was quite a sensible thing. You can actually, when you sit in the government, you can do things for people. And that's why they elect you to office, to do things for them, things which they would not ordinarily be able to do. Now, Moore's Island. When we were in opposition, the period 2007 to uh, 2012, uh, I used to go to constituencies as a member of the opposition where we didn't have PLP representatives, and they complained from time to time that, you know, no one would come and check on them from the party. So I would make it my business to go and see them. I had never been to Moore's Island before, and I took the opportunity to go there. I could not believe how much of a PLP ward this place was. I mean, I, I was nothing. I was absolutely nothing. No position, ordinary member of parliament. And when I landed there, there was a huge delegation at the airport to meet me. There was a bus that had been hired to pick me up, and they took me through the streets, and people came out and waved as I went by. They had a huge lobster dinner prepared for me. The people who were going fishing that day didn't go fishing. It was just, am it was astounding. <laughs> you know, I said, this is a PLP ward, a PLP ward. And I remember the, the member of parliament for the, the then prime minister, who was sitting in this place one day, and the leader of the opposition, as he was then, was encouraging him to do something for Moore's Island. And he said from his seat, nothing there for me, 
I wouldn't even fly over Moore's Island, he said. I wouldn't even fly over it, because there's nothing there for me. So, it then became our responsibility. When we got into office, I said, and I agree 100%, that since we are in a position to do something for these people, now is the right time to do it for these people. And I, and, 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 I, and I know, I know that this is deeply appreciated, and I think for us to say more than thank any you. words can say, thank this you, act is a thank you to Moores Island for all they have contributed to make sure that we have been successful in office. Uh, you know, I, Ethel Davis was from there, right? right? Ethel Davis was from there. I remember once there was a shipwreck, and... <laughs> She was a strong lady. She, oh, yeah. she actually swam into shore out of that shipwreck. Right. Ethel Davis, I remember. And, you know, Gino D, the musician, Moore's Island man again, right. and is producing sportsmen, musicians, uh, athletes. So, Moore's Island, thank you very much from the people of Fox Hill for all that you've done for us, and there's more to come. And I want to say that as I was being asked to run to run for the constituency of Fox Hill this time around. I almost took with the palpitations because I went to this area where the <laughs> member of parliament from St. Anne's told me, he, later, he didn't warn me in advance, no. but he told me that he didn't even have to campaign in that area, no, didn't even have to check because every vote, every vote was his, right? And I found that out, oh, one. Yeah, one. Right. So, I found out the hard way. Yeah. Man, I went walking down with my big bowl self, you know, my car behind me, all the fellas walking with me, and down. doors were slamming, you know, <laughs> nobody would talk to me, you know. Um, the, even the fellas playing basketball ignored me as I walked through their game. I say, this is not the place for me. But thankfully, thankfully, um, they are in St. Anne's, and I'm, <laughs> I, I will... I will I will, help, I will help the PLP members see what he can do to harvest in there. But, um, but, 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 but that was quite an experience. But I say that only to say this. There's some people who are faithful no matter what. Faithful no matter what. And Moores Island is faithful no matter what. And I thank them again. God bless them. And of course... We're soon out on the hustings, and I know Moores Island will deliver for us, as I know Fox Hill will deliver for us. Thank you. Blessings to you all.